Yeah, I'm doing a site-specific project um, in Sheffield which, in which we're going to try and recreate some key scenes from the 1984 BBC nuclear drama Threads, which was broadcast in 1984, terrified a whole generation of people, um, including a very young Richard Dodo Energy. Uh, so we're going to try and remake some of that on a very low budget, um, using local volunteers as, as uh, the cast. If, if people want to apply to be in it, that would be amazing. Um, I'm, today I'm going to go around Sheffield and look for all the locations. I've got about eight locations that I'm going to look at today. We're going to film it on the 6th and 7th of June. I'm going to edit it on the 8th of June and we're going to premiere it on the 9th of June. So it's all going to be happening within a very compressed period. Um, just to manage your expectations, it's not going to look exactly the same, but it's going to be an approximation. Um, you can have a look at my other Reduxes that I've done. I've done about 60 of them around the world um, at reduxproject.com. And if you go to the reduxproject.com forward slash threads, you can see a video of locations that I have yet to identify. So if anyone can help me find those, that would be very useful. Um, so I'm very looking, much looking forward to coming to Sheffield. And now the, pre the press release describes you as uniquely absurd. I don't know about that, like absurd, there is absurdity in my work, I don't know if it's unique. The Redux project isn't very unique, people remake bits of movies all the time, so it's not a particularly unique project. What sets it aside is that I'm very strict about doing it in the exact same location as the original was filmed. So I know some of the locations don't exist anymore, but um, I think the biggest scene is going to be people running around in panic in the moor. Um, in the town centre, so I'm going to go and look at the moor in a minute. I've never been to the moor, it's my first time in Sheffield this morning. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, I hope the people of Sheffield will come out and run around like crazy people for me. So just to remind people what you do, this isn't about recreating things exactly, it's about having fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's about, it's about trying to be as uh, close as I can to the original within my limited means, which are very limited. I don't even have a tripod. So, but you know, sometimes it looks remarkably similar, you know, it's, it's scary how you can make something look like it cost a million dollars for about a dollar. So that's my plan. And compared with some of the things that were shot maybe 35 years ago, I suppose the technology now means you can do actually better yes, than the original. Yes, it will be in higher resolution than the original, although Threads has just come out on Blu-ray this year, so you can see a beautiful digitised high-res version for the first time. Um, but yeah, you know, the, because it's so old, a lot of locations won't exist anymore so that's a challenge but it's all, and also the trees the trees have grown more so a lot of, and uh, I think it's filmed in the winter there will be a lot more um, well we've had, a, we've, we've had a huge protest and campaign in Sheffield where a lot of the trees have been chopped down I'm not so a, good, I'm not good luck to finding those even though it would be more convenient I don't actually want to cut down any of the trees of Sheffield <laughs> don't worry all right um, I and the other thing is the all in the the all in the road that was, everybody used to refer to um, in the middle of town, that's been filled in. So how are you going to recreate the all in the road? I think uh, I might do some very lo-fi special effects. The other thing is I need to recreate a mushroom cloud somehow. So I found some instructions on YouTube, but if there are any pyrotechnicians in, in Sheffield that would like to help me make a mushroom cloud, I'm, I'm very fond of my eyebrows. I don't want to lose them just yet. Um, and uh, the exploding building shots, I'm not sure how to do those yet. If anyone's demolishing any buildings in the next month in Sheffield, do let me know. Um, you have been known to use Lego? Lego, miniature green screen effects I've done in the past, not very well, but it can be done. So uh, this orange would be quite good to use as an orange screen actually, I might steal this. And you have said that you might even come back and do others. We've got lots of great films here, Full Monty, Kess, When Saturday Comes, might you do that? There's a wealth of cinematic history in this town. Obviously, the Full Monty, When Saturday Comes, Kez is filmed up the road. Uh, plus, you know, not to mention all the uh, Human League videos that were filmed in the city. Pulp, you know, the, the, the pop history is blowing my mind. Um, so I'm very excited to be here. Um, and try not to get distracted by looking for locations from Human League videos because I've just got to concentrate on threads this year. But maybe next year. And of yeah, course, Full Monty, might we actually see you in the buff? Um, it's happened before, so it's, it's not impossible. Be, be warned. <laughs> Um, right, any well, excuse. well, Richard, it's, it's great to have you here in Sheffield. Can't wait to see the finished product. And it means that people at Sheffield Lot Fest this year cannot just watch films and not hear about films, they can star in them. They can be in them, which I think secretly is what they all want. You know, that's why they got into this business. <laughs> Richard, thank you for your time. Thank you so much.